Yeah. Look at me, though. I still don't know where he came from. He looks nothing like either of us. He doesn't look anything like us. And I stare at his face sometimes going like, huh? even just be trying to find you in there, I don't. There might have been a switch at the hospital, I, I don't know. But I'm they, not giving him back now. We're stuck with him now, I think. Hey, hey, look alive! Uncle Jesse's here! Uncle Jesse! John Stamos has been a household name for more than 30 years, ever since the 1987 premiere of the beloved sitcom, Full House. Have mercy. And his latest project, the Disney Plus dramedy series Big Shot, recently finished its first season. Hi, my name is Marvin Korn, and I will be your new coach. Meanwhile, John's been a proud father since 2018, when his wife, actress Caitlin McHugh Stamos, gave birth to their adorable son, Billy. Yeah. He does not like watching me on TV. Except. Except what? The one scene where you're getting hit by a monkey. Has Uncle Jesse been a bad boy? He likes the monkey scene. Yes. <laughs> That's that. it. <laughs> God! Anytime I try to put on anything else with John, he's like, no, no, I don't want to watch. I'm PJ Masks. PJ Masks. Yeah, or something. Because <laughs> he likes Disney Plus, and so the, and you know, uh, Big Shot will be on like, just watch the new kind of sports. Uh, my, my picture will come up a lot on there, and he'll. Yeah, I see him I all the know. time. Something else. Yeah. He has a girlfriend. Can, let's... Can you tell him about your girlfriend, Bella? Yeah, he has a girlfriend Can named. I tell? Oh, okay. He's got a girlfriend named Bella. <laughs> I think he's a little young for it. Bye, Mama. She'll send me, because Bella lives down the street and they're, they're good buddies, and they'll send me like pictures of them hugging and one kissing. I'm like, it's too soon for that. They were up against a palm tree or something. <laughs> it was too much. I love bedtime. I love reading and yeah, the whole bath time and reading and going to sleep. It's probably my favorite, because it's when he's most calm. <laughs> and no. the least physically abusive. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it would be great to talk about it, but... Uh, ah, sometimes I like to, we just got a record player, I like to, we have family record time, we have tickle time. Well, we love it, I mean, it's, I mean, I do anyway, I've talked about it a lot, my cheese. whole... Cheese. Is that what you said? Cheese. Cheese. Or cheeseburger. It's a video no. camera. Would you like to go no. get a, go see if there's any chocolates Cheat. or treats are in there for you. Or oh, treats, is that what you're saying? Oh, is my, are you so hungry you're eating my finger right now? <laughs> last time, he would, the last time you guys interviewed us, he was a little baby and he was super funny and cute. And I think, I, you know what I talked about, Billy? I talked about changing your diaper and a little piece of poop flew on my foot. I, um, last night, I, I had my underwear and I flicked it like in your face. Yeah, he, <laughs> he likes to kick his underwear off you know, when he's getting ready for pajamas, but kick it, and then yesterday, yeah, we were together, and I went, whack! <laughs> he loves, he loves bits. He loves, you know, he's got all his, his little bits. Everything is a bit, actually. It's like, Everything. hey, watch this, this is a bit. <laughs> yeah. that's, so that's, a that's probably that's from his dad. Yeah. Yeah, be careful. But he, he loves- Physical watch, comedy, watch, getting watch a reaction. Ah. Okay, 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 <laughs> calm down, calm down. Oh, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt yourself. Over in. Who? Here, look okay. at the bit. You're gonna... I think he's, I think he's. Should we mention how he's not here anymore? What do you mean? The break, him well, leaving. Now you can ask the real question. Yeah, right, now we can talk, right? <laughs> but he'll scream from the other room, he'll, and I do s smell smoke. I wonder <laughs> if you hear fire engines run. This is nice because I, you're sort of tracking our relationship as, as a husband and wife and then parents, right? Mm -hmm. We usually, we do a, our late thing is like we'll go on trips and stuff or before interviews we do a little pinky swear that we're gonna you know, not argue. Not argue. <laughs> well, you know what the truth is. Like sometimes <laughs> I think helps. I look at us. I look at all, a lot of couples, and they look like it's, oh, it's so shiny and perfect. We're just like everybody else, right? I mean, it, especially going through the last year and a half was not easy for you know anybody. Yeah. So, but we've, we've made it so far. So far. <laughs> There's no question. John and Caitlin make a good team, especially when it comes to parenting. We try to stay on the same page with that stuff. A lot of it's trial and error, you know, and when I, I tend to, I read a lot of different parenting books. I'm actually in a parenting philosophy class and I, and I try to learn a lot from the other moms in my little community, especially ones who have older kids who have been through all of it. And I pick up everything and I feel like everything is, that I learn is a tool in my toolbox to use with Billy. Some stuff works, some stuff doesn't. I don't, I don't live by like, this is the way and the philosophy is very strict about a certain way that I do things. And that's the thing too, it's like, we're, we're always balancing, like trying to figure out 
and you know, there's so many parents out there might be listening, but what's the discipline part? Because there's no hitting, that, that clearly is, but it's not fun, I mean, that was, I, mean, I don't know, but I got slapped a couple times when I was a kid, and you know, I just could never do it, but, so what is the, I mean, what, you know, we try time out, right? Yeah, I think it's for, for the, I try to relate whatever the, whatever the, whatever he did that did, whatever he did that needs a consequence. I want the consequence to be related to the infraction. So it doesn't, it's not an arbitrary thing. Or if, and also too, it's just like, it, and whatever, if he acts up, there's a cause to it and there's a feeling behind it. And I want to validate the feeling and the emotion, but try to channel whatever that feeling is into a, in, into a, a, a productive, action or protect that's, that's my wife anyway so, that's the mother of my child isn't it? I, I didn't come up with this stuff but <laughs> i've read and i'm taking classes and, and things but that that's that that's something really i've started sweet. doing or if it's if he's acting up because he's had so much emotion going on it's like okay it's not a time out but if you do want either a hug or do you need some alone time to calm down and what can we do to help you regulate your feelings a little better yeah i just do what she says <laughs> no i i think it's important that we are we are on the same page with all that and i think She's really, first of all, let me just say this. You are just the greatest mother, and the and I've seen great mothers. I had a great mother, you have a great mother, but you are just incredible. And when she says she's learning and she's got parenting tools, I sometimes I'm, I make a joke or two because it's a little hippy dippy, but thank God, like how lucky I, am I that someone cares that much about our child? I mean, you should see her with him. So patient and so kind and so loving. It's really, I, and I'm not, she wants, she likes to be very honest, this one. Sometimes too honest. But I'm being very honest. At night, I, I just, I am so grateful for you. That's it. I was talking about this yesterday. We were, one of our first dates was at Disney World and we were walking around Epcot and, you know, I thought, well, I gotta impress this, you know, and I had a hat and glasses on, and nobody was recognizing me, and I was like, hmm, I'll take my glasses off, you know, still nobody, and I'll take my hat off, and you know, hey, how you doing? Have mercy, have mercy. <laughs> and she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing, you know. And then later, I found out that, you know, first of all, now. I, I didn't know then that that would be the last thing that would impress her, which is good. <laughs> but she's she's uh, termed she she calls that she termed that um, Epcotting. Uh, Epcot. So we were at Epcot, but he but like peacocking, like sort of like look at me, look at me, sort of it's like he became a little more John Stamosy when, we when we were out. She never watched. Tell him he never watched Full House or any shows I was on. A little bit. Right. I wasn't. I mean, I wasn't a fan. But you weren't gonna. Be, if, if you if you married a fan, that says more You're about right. you than it does. There you anything. go. You see that? <laughs> John and Caitlin dated for roughly two years before getting married in February 2018, and baby Billy arrived just two months later. This is my dream. I, 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 I've, I've had all my dreams come true a hundred times over, and this was the one last thing that I thought, I don't know if it's gonna happen. And thank God, you know, she came around, and, and, and I attribute it to, you know, straightening up my life and being a better person and sobering up and stuff. And so um, when it came around, I, I, I I recognized it immediately, and I said, I gotta be good for that and make it work. But to to attract someone like her, a good, solid person, you know, I mean, I think if, you know, about six years ago I sobered up and I, you know, really worked, out, started working on myself, and I think someone like her would have not been around me very long during that, you know, if I was like that, that state, you know. I, there was, a, I think, a fuzziness around me, that, you know, that I just needed to, um, and I was, I had to, um, I was, I, 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 I just wasn't deserving of it yet, I think. And I think I had to, uh, right? I mean, I'm, like, I'm not judging you. <laughs> to, on camera. <laughs> what about, you see how romantic I am, by the way? This, she told me, I think on one of our earlier dates, she said she was into the astronomy of the star. I broke it. This is our first. Date, right? Yeah, it was written in the stars, he wrote. And uh, yeah, January 2016. It's just to remind me. <laughs> so he remembers the day. The stars were certainly aligned because John and Caitlin knew right away they wanted to start a family together. It was pretty quick, huh? Um, 
We talked about it. It was we less were, than a year. We were swimming. We were in the pool, and we talked about it. We were right? together less than a year when he yeah. brought it up. And I was like, yeah, maybe at some point. <laughs> How about tonight? <laughs> We've been trying for years now to have a second kid, and that hasn't been successful for us. But right well, now... Well, the first kid st stops us a lot of the time, too. Yeah, that's too. too. I mean... Yeah, he, he, was, he, he doesn't help. Yeah. I mean, he, but having him is like having 10 children, so... Yeah, we're like, well, you know, <laughs> so if, friends. It, if it takes a while for a second one, it's okay. Again, um, we, we, you know, we, we should have more kids because we have the means to, 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 you know, hopefully raise a kid properly. But, yeah, I always wanted kids. I always wanted... I always... This was it. The, you know, I always wanted a great wife Since he was kids. a kid. Yeah. My mom was around all the time. My mom was like you. Very, uh, you know, very lovey-dovey, very affectionate. In fact, my, my dad used to say, like, you know... You, you overuse the word "I love you." It's too much. I love you. I love you. You know, but but and then when, but then when my dad said it, it, it hits you right. I love spending time with with my dad. You know, and that's why. And I know it's important for Billy. And when you know that moment when you look at your dad and you go, "Oh, you know," as you get older, you go, "He's not. He's just a human." You know, I never really had that with my dad. He was always a superhero. He was always the coolest MF that walked into any room. And um, I hope I can be that to my son. I think if it didn't change me, uh, it, it would be bad, right? I mean, it would be, uh, it was not even being funny, like if this didn't really affect me in, a, in, a, in the way that it has, then I would have not really learned to grow, gr you know, grow. Yeah. But, hasn't changed his face though. <laughs> but it, it um, yes, and the, but the catch is, yes, I do that, I go, wow, this is what I always wanted. But I think every, what everybody does is, okay, well now I'm here, now I want, I don't even know what that is, but you know, you're thinking like that, and, and that's what I have to, you know, watch mostly is just like, hey, be here, be here now, put the phone away. We don't have to get from A, we don't have to go do that thing. It's not that important. I don't have to go on the computer for something. Just be with him. And that's, it's, it's, it's a constant, uh, I have to tell myself that all the time. You know, this is, these are the beautiful moments right now that are, that I'm gonna remember forever. And, you know, I'm sure we'll have many more. The one thing I, I think I could spend a little more time with him if people stop telling me, spend time with him. They're gonna, it goes by like that. We spend half of the day listening to people saying, you know, it goes by like that. Stop telling us so we can enjoy him this moment. You know what I mean?